the brand new FIFA 21 reveal trailer has just been released on YouTube and across all EA Sports' social media. And in this video, we're going to be talking about all of the new features in FIFA 21, Ultimate Team, new co-op, career mode, new simulation system, and a lot more. So just before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure you guys do subscribe for all of the future videos. We are going to be making videos on all of the latest news and updates on FIFA 21 so just definitely make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any of those future videos so we're getting straight into this one now the first thing that we do have are two new celebrations so the first one is the famous Erling Braut Haaland sitting down and we can see this in the brand new Dortmund kit looking very nice and the second one is the actually more popular Mbappe crying we did have this as a dynamic image the inform was very popular but now this is going to be a brand new celebration so it's most likely going to be overused like the dab in past FIFAs so I'm not really looking forward to that but always new celebrations are welcomed a brand new thing of course something that we do always expect in the brand new yearly FIFA update so the next thing now specifically about the gameplay mechanics it does mainly just sound like the same thing that we were pitched presented last year not really anything too interesting but there is a rework of fun Fundamentals, so this could be promising potentially like headers passing blocking and transition so that's going to be a good thing I think goalkeepers as well but also all of that of course just and more few things need to be adjusted but hopefully this is going to be the start of positive FIFA 21 gameplay that in the future years can be eventually perfected to the best and we can all have an enjoyable FIFA game so some other things that have been adjusted hopefully improved positioning personality this is something to pretty much make the world-class attackers make sure that they're going to be getting less offsides and also for the defenders to make less mistakes in the offside specter so we are going to see how this is going to be but hopefully of course some sort of improvement also agile dribbling this is just going to be more responsiveness hopefully create some sort of a skill gap to really allow all of the better players to thrive and for it not to be so easy just to have of course 20 shots and the opponent gets a few lucky goals which will Always happens in fit champions and everything like that so it's going to be about the gameplay but lots more information in August is going to be coming then about ultimate team foot co-op is introduced this is going to be absolutely massive allowing you to team up with a friend and compete for new rewards so if you have played co-op normally where you just choose a normal team in kickoff whether Liverpool Barcelona Bayern Munich this is going to be the exact same concept but online so when you do pass it of course it is going to go to your friend when he passes back it is going to be to you so maybe if I have Mbappe Jao Felix in my team then I can invite him to play with that same team and of course it is just going to be every single time we pass it is going to switch the player of course controlling it you guys understand how co-op works but this opens a new realm for possibly specifically only player objectives that you can get in foot co-op so it will be really interesting takes more casual approach it's going to be a lot more fun if you do force a friend to come on to do these objectives with you and you're both going to get the rewards I am assuming and EA have said this is going to be in division rivals and squad battles but hopefully of course can be evolved to bigger things definitely looking very good now career mode looks absolutely extremely promising very very good stuff from here a huge new feature that looks like EA are trying to go in the direction of the very successful and popular football manager new interactive match sim so you can simulate the match and at any time you can jump in so you can basically take control actually play the game which is really really good from an actually programming concept this is actually quite good because normally simulated match would just choose any random numbers based on the ratings of your players that's how it usually works even if you have an old Lewandowski he's going to do well but now it's really going to feel like your players are actually playing a football game because you can see them moving around like this I'm guessing you can skip to the the end as well but the main thing is that you can jump in so you can take control at any important moments like a penalty or free kick or also maybe if your team goes down starts losing then you can go ahead take control and hopefully have a better result than if it was just simulated through so that is going to be an absolutely amazing sign for career mode going to make it a lot more interesting and it's really going to feel like you're really controlling a team and you do have an impact on the players themselves 
themselves. Also, play development has been completely revamped, so you can turn a right back into a right winger, for example, and same CDM into a centre back. So that's really good. Instead of just playing them wherever you are, then it is actually going to be converting them to that thing. So when you're going to sell them on, I'm guessing they're going to play at that position as well. So it's really going to be good. Also, a new active training system, activity manager system. So possibly scheduling training that was definitely needed because no one really was going through simulating would take quite a long time but if you can schedule it and tell them when you want to individually cancel it everything like that it's really going to be good for career mode and i cannot wait to see how more information is going to look like then also about volta football we do have volta squads this is finally allowing you to play with friends in a team online similar to pro clubs so finally yeah, you have been listening to what we've been saying right at the start when volta was introduced also a new confirmed icon has been coming definitely loads of hype around that and for the last thing we do have the pack animation shown very quickly in the sixth second of the trailer so right at the start if you do slow it down playback speed on youtube or just as you can see here this is the pack animation and definitely looks like for promos maybe things of course like team of the season team of the year it is really going to be allowed to be customized this is just the blank version if nothing no promo is going on but that's definitely going to be very interesting i cannot wait to see how that is going to look so just to summarize this video quickly lots more information about more of this more in detail is going to be coming in august but we do have two new confirmed celebrations haaland and mbappe's own specific celebrations added into the game i'm sure with a lot more to come for other players specifically about the gameplay mechanics not really too much but rework of fundamentals like headers passing blocking and transitions ultimate team foot co-op is introduced absolutely insane and career mode looks extremely promising with the new interactive match simulator cannot wait to see how that is going to look and finally volta squads is introduced as well allowing you to play with friends in a team online very similar to pro clubs let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the new ultimate team cover as well quite controversial with mbappe there in my opinion i really like it and also what you think about fifa 21 moving forward are you excited are you taking all of this marketing hype or do you think it is just going to be the same old same old thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time